Greetings, this is Maslea. In this video, we are going to solve question 9b that came into 11th August 2022 GCE final exam. So this is question 9b that came into, that appeared in 2022 GCE mathematics exam. So the question lead as follows. The following diagram shows the first term of a cone. The top and bottom diameter are 6 and 18 respectively. So we have the top which is 6 here, and the bottom which is 18. Then the other statement um, is as follows. Given that its perpendicular height is 10 cm, calculate the volume of the first term. We need to calculate the volume of a first term. So what we need first of all to acknowledge is that the first term is as a result of cutting the top part of a cone. So let me just draw the top part of a cone like that. I'm drawing the top part of the cone. Okay, so we are having this cone. This is a cone. So when we remove this top part, when we remove this top part, what will remain is this part, which is a thruster. This is what will remain when we remove the top part. So meaning that for us to calculate the volume of the first term, we need to, to first of all calculate the volume of the entire cone, and then we subtract the volume of the part that was removed. Then we remain with the, the first term. So the other thing that we need to know as we are calculating the volume of the entire cone, the big cone, is that we need to know the height, the height from here going down here. So we need to know this height. We also need to know this height. So for us to calculate this height, simply means that we need to know the height of the smaller cone. Since we have been given to say the distance or the length from here up to here, it is 10. So the only thing that we need to know is this height, the height of the small cone. For us to find the height of the small cone, this is a topic that is covered under similarity and congruence. So this is similar triangle. So let me draw my triangle. So I'll draw my right angle triangle like this. I'm just sketching it. Like that. And then from here up to here, I'll say this is 10. This is 10 centimeter, which is the distance from here up to here. Okay. And then from here up to here, it is the height of the small cone that was removed. So I'll name it uh, small letter H. Then from here up to here, since we have been given to say the top diameter is 6 centimeter, then the half of 6 centimeter, it is a 3 centimeter, which will be here. And then the bottom, the diameter is 18 then half of 18 is 90 centimeter. Okay, don't forget we are looking for H. So under the concept of similar triangle, we can come up with uh, a simple formula to say we have H, we have H over, so the height of the small cone over the height of the big cone. So the height of the big cone is H plus 10 is equal to the radius of the small cone, which is 3, over the radius of the big cone, which is 9. Okay, so this is a fractional equation, so we need to convert this into a straight equation by cross multiplying. So when we cross multiply, we're going to have 9 times h, which is um, 9h, is equal to, we are going to multiply 3 times h, which is 3h, plus... From there, we multiply 3 times 10, which is 30. Okay, so we have cross multiplied. Okay, thereafter, we can correct the like terms. So, mean that we are going to have 9h minus 3h is equal to 30. 9h minus 3h, we are going to have 6. 6h is equal to 30. We divide by 6, divide by 6 in order to remain with h alone. So h is equal to 6 into 30, it is 5 centimeters. So this simply means that the distance from here up to here, 
a small h it is five centimeter five centimeter like that okay so this implies that the height of the big cone given or um, represented by letter h will be five plus ten which is fifteen centimeter so this is the height of uh, the big cone however this is not our final answer because this is just the height so we need this height to calculate the volume of uh, the cone so now let's calculate the volume of a cone so the volume of a cone is given by the formula sorry the the, the volume of a uh, cone yes the volume of a cone is given by the formula one over three times pi r squared h so this is the volume of a cone this is the formula for the volume of a cone so now remember that here we have got two cones we have got a big cone and a small cone so therefore we are going to say for us to find the flash term we are going to say the volume of a flash lamp is equal to 1 over 3 pi r squared h minus 1 over 3 pi r squared h. So now, as you can see here, I've used capital letter r and capital letter h, and then also small letter r and small letter h, so that I can differentiate this, the capital letter r, which is the radius of the big cone this the radius of the radius of the big cone from here up to there and the small letter r which is the radius of the small cone from here up to there and then capital letter h it is the height of the big cone small letter h is the height of the small cone so in short i'm saying where where capital letter r since the diameter is 18 then the radius is 9 capital letter R is 9, okay, and then small letter R, it is 3, then from there, capital letter H, capital letter H, we have added 5 plus 10 to have a 15, and then a small H, it is 5, like that, then pi, we have been given is 3.142, so, Furthermore, what we can do is, I think let's try to factorize this so that we can easily enjoy it. So we're going to have volume is equal to, so what is common here is one, it is one third pi. So one third pi is common, so we're going to have capital letter RH, capital letter R squared H minus small letter RH, like that. Okay, so we have factorized so that we can easily enjoy the calculation here. So we're going to have volume is equal to 1 over 3. 1 over 3 times 3.142. Okay, so capital letter R it is 9. 9 squared. Okay, and then times H, capital H, it is 50. Okay, minus small r it is 3 of course we square times what is h small h small h is 5 like that okay from here we we'll just need to simplify and enjoy our calculation so of course we have one third times 3.142 okay times so 9 squared is 81 times 15 minus 9 because 3 squared is 9 times 5 like that so we are going to have volume is equal to 1 third times 3.142 okay so of which we are going to have times so for me i'm just going to use a calculator so that i can type everything here but for you, as you are preparing for exam, make sure that you multiply this times this, you have your answer, minus 9 times 5, you write your answer, and then you subtract. So, ever for me, I'll use the calculator. Use my calculator. So, we have 81, 81 times 15, 
to 1 times 15. So this is the answer. Then I'll say minus, okay, open bracket, 9 times 5. Okay. Then let me close the bracket. Okay. So the answer is um is 1000. Let me just cross check. The answer is 1170. 1170. So this is my answer. Then from there, I need to multiply 1 times 3.142 times 1170. Okay, let's, let me do so. So, 1170 times, times 3, 3.142. 3.142. Okay, so this is my answer. Of course, we have got 3 here. So, I'll divide by 3. So, the answer divided by 3, as you can see on my calculator, Okay, so we have found that the volume is equal to 1,200 and let me just cross check, 1,000, we have 1,223.38, okay, so let me write it here, so 1,200 and 5.38 okay like that so mean that our final volume i'll say volume is equal to 1225.38 what are the units centimeters cubed raised to three so this is the volume of the flash drum so to make a summary of this video Initially, we have a flash dam. So for us to have a flash dam, it simply means that we were given a cone, we were given a cone, and that cone, the top part has been cut and removed off. Okay? So this simply means that for us to enjoy the calculation of the volume of the flash dam, we need to calculate the volume of the big cone then we subtract the volume of the small cone that was removed. However, for us to find the volume of the big cone, we need to know the height, the height of the big cone by using the concept of the similar triangle. When you find the height of the big cone, then you use this formula to find the flash. Very simple calculation there that you need to enjoy. Thank you for watching this video. Mr. Matsilea, Mr. Matsilea, Mr. Matsilea, oh, Mr. Matsilea, Mr. Matsilea, Mr. Matsilea, Mr. Matsilea, oh, Mr. Matsilea.